Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's me again Chelsea and I've got another indie review for you and again it is a completed trilogy. This time it's a sci-fi and it is none other than The Song of Kamaria by T.A. Bruno. That is the name for the whole series. The first book is called In the Orbit of Sirens. So diving into what this book is actually about. We are following two main characters in this book and the first one is Denton Castus who has to escape his planet and join this massive colony who are fleeing to a new world because something is coming for his planet and they are destroying it. So literally at the start of this book we meet our we meet Denton and his family as they flee um, because there is a siren that goes off saying that these aliens are attacking their planet right now and they need to leave. They are told that this distant planet will be a safe haven however this new home does actually have more threats in store. Our other character that we're following is none other than Eliana Veston and she is the daughter to a scientist, she is also a scientist herself and she is at this new planet before Denton and his family get there. She's been living there for a while and they are trying to make it safe for the new people that are coming in and they have found things that will better humanity's chance of surviving on this planet. They have got a way around something called lung lock which if you breathe in the air means that you die. Um, so they're doing all those things to try and make sure the planet is habitable when everyone arrives. This hunt for a cure that Eliana and all the other scouts are looking for does reveal another threat to humanity and that is something called the sirens. They are mysterious beings with immense power and they hate invaders and that's what they see humanity as. I really enjoyed this book, this first book. So the first book I gave a three stars and my ratings got progressively better throughout my reading experience. The first book I can tell you I didn't enjoy as much because there is a very big emphasis on a romance that takes place within this book and I'll give you a guess as to who it's between but I think the world is so richly written and you can really imagine the characters and the different species that T.A. Brunner has written about. I think he has done an incredible job with creating a whole new world and a world that I was definitely very excited to learn more about. So I read obviously the whole trilogy. I listened to it all audibly I think and I think that's a fantastic experience. I really enjoyed it. Definitely recommend. All of the books are on Audible, not sponsored but just so you know and I think the narrators also do an incredible job. As I said, the ratings that I gave these books got better throughout the books and that is because the second book features more on a family element and then the third book is featuring more on a action-based plot, in my opinion. I really enjoyed, for the whole three books, I really enjoyed how the characters develop throughout the three books. I really enjoy how we see relationships change and, and advance and evolve. I think that's really incredible. I love seeing the new species as well just evolve throughout these books and humanity's relationship with the species as well. I think the whole world gets even more incredible and the writing is so descriptive. You learn so much. It's fantastic. I really really enjoy it. There isn't really much more I can say on these books without giving away obviously big plot points. As I've said in the previous indie review I want these reviews to be short and snappy so you just get the point and we move on. I also know that T.A. Bruno has a new book out and it is called Down Below Beyond. I'll put the cover here for you so you can have an idea of what you're looking for. If you want to check that out as well, you're more than welcome to. I have no idea about this book. I have a review copy ready to go. I just haven't got to it yet. So I'm expecting great things from T.A. Bruno. He is a phenomenal sci-fi author and I really enjoyed this series. Like I said, it's a completed trilogy. So if you're ready to just binge a series, I highly recommend. The books aren't massively chunky. So again, really easy to binge. And if you want a really descriptive world and really filled in characters, I definitely recommend this series because this ticks all of those boxes. If this is something you were interested in, like I said, you can get the books on Audible, but I think you can also get physical copies on Amazon. 
I'm sure he has other places that you can find these books. I will leave a link to um, his blog or Goodreads or something. There will be something information wise below for you so you can check out TA Bruno yourself if that is what you wish but definitely check him out. I think this is a fantastic sci-fi series and I haven't been reading as much sci-fi actually recently so to read this series and to actually love it as much as I did I think says high things from myself but that is just one person's opinion. If you did like this video give it a like, really supports me and my channel, leave me a comment down below of your favourite sci-fi series, I'd be really interested to know. If you want to just leave me an emoji, leave me any space emojis because these characters do travel into space and to a new distant planet so I think that's quite fitting. If you want to see more of me please consider subscribing down below and ring that notification bell to get notified every single time I upload new videos. I'm uploading every single day in August and there are a few more of these indie reviews to come so be sure to stick around if you want to see more of that. But that's everything from me today. I hope you have enjoyed it and I'll see you tomorrow for another video. Bye!